This is today at Chattanooga State with James Ortiz and Ashton Holt with your local weather. Hello and welcome to today at Chat State. I'm James Ortiz and I'm just having a wonderful day. But Ashton, how's your week been going so far? It's going great actually. It's not been terrible at all. Nice. Have you been doing anything fun or interesting lately you want to talk about? Uh, this week, not really, but last week, uh, actually this is the reason why I was out last week, I went to Huntsville and that was actually a nice trip, so, uh, yeah, I highly recommend anyone go to the Space Center, because, uh, I'll tell you, they got some really good stuff going on over there, so, uh, if you have an interest in space or astronomy or just anything regarding, you know, the stars, go ahead and take a look uh, at Huntsville Space Center, you're going to really, really enjoy it. Awesome. Glad you enjoyed it, friend. Without further ado, let's take a look at what all is happening at Chad State in the coming days. On Tuesday, April 26th, the Chattanooga State Symphonic Band has invited us all to Game On, their multimedia series featuring a vast array of music and graphics from video games. The program includes work from many beloved game series across an abundance of genres and takes place at 7.30 p.m. in the Humanities Auditorium. Come out to support the students of Chat State, STEM, Collegiate High, and community volunteers. The spring 2022 semester's end is rapidly approaching. Classes end on Friday, April 29th. Time is ticking down to submit the last of your assignments and to tie up any loose ends before the semester draws to a close. So be sure to tough it out and stay vigilant with your academic responsibilities, everyone. What can you tell us about the weather this week, Ashton? It's gonna be dry. A lot of, I think a lot of y'all are gonna really like the weather this week. Uh, let's take a look at the Tennessee Valley Railroad Museum. It is high and dry. We've got partly cloudy skies across the area. Let's take a look at the current conditions right now, see what the uh, temperature is across the area. Right now we are at 46 degrees in uh, Chattanooga uh, as we speak right now. Uh, and you'll see it momentarily. There we go. Partly cloudy, 46, and uh, winds are calm. So it's a really nice morning, and it's going to be a really nice day throughout the rest of the week. Now, let's take a look at the uh, local temperatures across the area. Uh, right now, and again, Chattanooga is 46, 45 uh, Cleveland, 48 Decatur, and 52 Fort Payne, 48 in Scottsboro. Now, here's a look at the regional temperature map. Again, most of the area across the whole south, really, across, at least the southeast is concerned, we have uh, temperatures in the 40s at this moment. Uh, and this is, uh, the reason why we have a lot of dry weather is because of the high pressure that's in control right now. Here's a look at the showers and storms. This is all due to uh, a cold front off to the west, and that's producing some showers and storms. There's some energy tapping into, so that's why there's a little bit more activity near Arkansas than there is a little bit further north. So let's take a look at the satellite. You will see it's a little bit easier. Uh, you can see this whole mass of showers and storms. And again, it's a little bit more weaker toward the Ohio Valley, but towards the central plains into uh, the Tennessee Valley, uh, it's, it's a lot more uh, quieter. Pollen count is nearly 2,000. Tree pollen is our biggest issue, and it's just not going to go away anytime soon, at least in the remainder of this week. Dry weather this uh, rest pretty much all week. Warmer temperatures than what we've seen this week, at least, and a nice week in ahead. So. Yesterday's high was 64, 40 was our overnight low, and we're about 10 degrees cooler than where we need to be. Um, 63 was the temperature in Chattanooga, Eastridge, Kimball, and even Dayton, and the coolest spot was over in Turtle Town and in Blue Ridge with 53 degrees of our, was our temperature there. Uh, for the next one to two weeks, our overall temperature outlook is going to be below normal with 76, to, or excuse me, around normal, below normal west of here with 76 to 77 our average high. So, mostly sunny with 72 for our afternoon high today, and we'll see mostly cloudy for our overnight low for uh, tonight. And for the weekend, if you have any weekend plans or just want to relax, it's going to be nice and dry with temperatures in the lower to mid 80s. It's going to be nice, it's going to be wonderful, I think you're going to enjoy it. For the next seven days, it's just going to continue. Uh, we'll see a nice, pretty much all weekend into next week. Conditions are going to be really nice and quiet. Again, showers and thunderstorms might be possible for, uh, for Monday, but it's not going to be a big deal. It's not, really, no, don't expect a whole heck of all that one. But uh, Tuesday and Wednesday, we continue to dry out. Temperatures will start to cool down by Wednesday, but 68 is only going to be the highest temperature. So uh, we got a nice weekend ahead of us, James. Thank you, Ashton. For filling us in. Today we'll be learning about a man from Virginia who's planning to hike more than 2,000 miles on the Appalachian Trail to raise awareness about suicide. Here's Caleb Perney with the story. Tim Uncafer has hiked nearly 500 miles so far on the Appalachian Trail, raising awareness for the Elizabeth Matera Foundation. It's a new foundation that seeks to prevent suicide through training and workshops. Uncafer was wrapped in the tragedy of suicide through his friend Matthew Matera. The two met in the Navy. Matera's 15-year-old daughter, Elizabeth, was the sixth person in his family to die by suicide. 
it was something that impacted me very close and personal, not, you know, as a father, to be sure, uh, but certainly as, as a friend uh, to Matthew. Uncafer had always wanted to hike the Appalachian Trail when he retired, but now it's taking a new meaning. The AT is often a go-to trip for many to step back. You're still shocked to hear from folks, hikers that, that said, you know, um, I was considering committing suicide. You know, that I think that's more common. I was shocked that, that it's, it's happened three times now. And Uncafer says the struggle of the trail can put things in perspective. It's a good analogy that, um, you know, there's always, there's always hope over that next ridge. There's always, you know, you, you know it's hard. You go in there and sometimes you just got to do it step by step. With each of those steps, he's spreading the message of the Matera story and raising money for the foundation. In Damascus, Caleb Perney, News 5, WCYB. Follow Tim's hike at forelizabeth.org. Also, suicide prevention is an important topic for Chattanooga State. If you need to reach out to someone or for someone, you can always contact our counseling services on our main campus in IMC room 124 or call 423-697-4483. But that's it for today at Chat State. Hope you all have a good day.